Hello friends, welcome to my channel Zenet Lessons and welcome to this course of Palo Alto. So in my previous video, I've shown you how to add the Palo Alto VM in ea 6 server. We have also seen how to add the Palo Alto VM in the VMware Workstation. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to add Palo Alto in the EVNG server. As you can see, I have my server running on 192.168.150. I will log in into my EVNG server. And if I right click and go on node, and you can see that my Palo Alto machine is not in my EVNG server, right? Palo Alto, it's missing, it's grayed up. So how to add this? So first thing what you need is the Palo Alto KVM um, QCOW2 file. So I have I will paste this uh, link in the description so you can download from here the OVA as well as the KVM file. Um, just a disclaimer that this uh, drive doesn't belong to me. So I don't know till when this is available. So go on and uh, download it as soon as possible. So this is around 2.8 gigs. I will download it anyway. Uh, now let me check on my downloads. So this will get downloaded in approximately seven minutes. And then after that, I will uh, uh, continue with the, uh, I mean, the, the installation procedures. Uh, let it download and um, till then what you need, what, uh, you need to go to um, uh, the EVNG how to section and you can find this uh, instructions how to install the EVNG, uh, I mean the Palo Alto into EVNG. So the first instruction is if you have an OVA file, um, I mean, I, I do have an OVA file, but I do have the QCOW2 file as well. So we'll, uh, we'll follow this method. So what does it say? It says uh, to make a directory with the name of uh, Palo Alto 8.0.1, but we are using 10, so I'll go with that. And this is the directory OPT unit app add-on schema, and then you make this directory. And then what does it say? It says upload the image to EVNG, and that same folder that we created using files love in SCP. And then from the CLI, uh, go to the newly created image uh, and uh, go to this folder and just rename that to uh, rename original file to virtual.qcow file. Okay, and then just fix the permissions. Okay, uh, so what we need, we need, first of all, we, I need to putty to my um, EVNG server and I, I need a win SCP or files in I, So I do already have an SCP. So I will just open up in SCP here and log into my, server so here is my venus cp and i can go to 192.168.1.150 which is my uh, this uh, evng server and i have to log in using the root account root and eve this is the default one and specify scp and login now i should be logged into the uh, file system of my evng folder uh, evng machine right that's one thing second is uh, i need to uh, putty onto my same evng so i'll use putty and i can go to 192 168.1.150 and SSH and open. And it's saying yes. And I will log in as root and EVE. Fine. Now it is saying to do what? To create this um, Palo Alto uh, 10.0 uh, folder. I can do it like this, or even I can go to the WinSCP and create a folder here. But uh, I will just follow the CLI commands. So it says now I have to say 10.0.0. And then uh, it is saying to add a backslash. Yeah. Uh, like this and enter. So I made this, um, uh, what do you say? Uh, the file, right? Uh, the folder, sorry. Now it is asking me to move, move to that folder. So I'll do CD and then I'll copy all this and I'll paste it. So I'm inside this. Now, if I do an LS, I have no files there. So first of all, I need to copy uh, this whole, uh, this file, right? Into this folder. So the file that I'm downloading. So let's see what is the status of the downloads. So it's almost there. So I'll pause the video for uh, two minutes and then continue. Okay, now that this file has been copied, what we need to do is we need to go and create a folder. I, mean, I think we already have created this folder. So we can create this folder and um, copy that file to this folder. Okay, so let's go and copy that file to the folder. I'll be using the um, WinSCP to copy the file. So I went to CD, I mean, I went to the OPT directory, unit labs, add on chemo, Palo Alto 10.0.0.0. And I, got, I mean, drag and drop that file into this folder. Now, so now I'm waiting for the file to, Complete. After that, I will go on and rename this file. So instead of eight, we have 10. I've already copied and modified the file um, command. Rename uh, P A V M K V M 10 0 dot QCOW 2 words QCOW. Or you can just directly go to that uh, WinSCP and copy paste this file here. I mean, rename that on the GUI itself. That is also an um, option that you can follow. And then at the end, you have to put in this command, which fixes the permission for the file. Okay, so now um, this file has been copied to the folder. Now I can go and directly rename this file like this. Okay, sorry, it should be only one dot qcow. That is the extension of the file. So make sure that the file is like that. 
and I can just close it. Close this as well. And then I need to go to this and uh, now I need to copy and paste this command here. Enter. Just to be sure, I'll do it once again, up arrow and enter. So now when I go to my EVNG, now let's hit refresh here. Right click node and my Palo Alto should be here now. And if I go here, where's the Palo Alto? Yeah. So my Palo Alto is here, number of nodes one, Palo Alto 10 and CPU two, RAM is fine. And, 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 and that is done. So if you want to, I mean, increase the number of ports, you can do it here, save it. Now then I will hit a cloud network and then I will say manage cloud, save and then I will hit and connect this on the management interface. That's right. Now I need an interface, uh, I mean, node for the inside. So let's say, now you can have Windows here. Yeah, we can have Linux as well. Uh, I will have a Linux, uh, which is going to be the tiny code, which is very uh, light for the inside. Yep. That's perfect. I'll keep this on eat one one and if two is my one two is going to be my uh, internet. For that, what I can do again again I can hit uh, manage cloud like this. And then I can connect this to the eat one two. So this is how I will set up my lab. So this is the inside. If I type here, so this is going to be my inside, and I can just maximize this. So this is my inside. This is my, I will just duplicate this. This is going to be my, what outside? And this is going to be my management, right? This is going to be my management side. So this is MGMT. Now I can, um, I mean, likewise, I can have the uh, IPs also mentioned, right? So I can have the 10.1.1.0. So 1.0 slash 24 is my IP address of the inside LAN, likewise, this will have the IP address of 192, 168, 1.0, so this is 144, and the management. And likewise, I have the outside as 192, 168, 1.0, 192, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, Even though the management and outside are on the same number, but uh, something but the control planes are different, so that is fine, that will not have any issues. So let me just start the Palo Alto like this. And also I will start the uh, Linux box. Double click on that, open this one. And if this these tools don't open, just go to parallel, this uh, EVNG download section and download the uh, the client side, Windows client side. Yeah, so Windows client side. Okay, so I'm here now. I have my inside PC. I need to download the, I mean, run the Palo Alto. So this is getting I can just lock the lab so that the moment is not there. So this is getting initialized. Let's wait for the initialize and then I can continue. Okay. So now let's see, this has been booted up. Now let's type in the admin admin as the default credentials. It does take time and now it's asking for the old password, which is admin and it's asking for the new password, capital A, D, M, I, and I, one, two, three. You need to have the, you need to follow the password policy. Fine, great. Now I need to configure the, uh, you do this, going to the default admin, okay. Okay, okay. Please change your, so uh, it was not, uh, I mean, completed, uh, changed the password, right? Uh, anyway, so uh, what I'll do is I'll change the management IP address from here. So I'll go here and say set device config, uh, no, not like this. I have to go to the configure and then set device config uh, system type static. That's the first thing I do. Then again, system, then IP address. And then 192.168.1.144. And then net mask 255.255.255.0. And also the default gateway. I'll spy 192.168.101. Done. Then I'll commit. And then I have to go to my uh, browser and say HTTPS 192.168.1.144. And this should direct me to the Palo Alto. Now to make sure, because I have my 
we have a workstation also running and the power vault is also running here. So I will just turn this off here. Turn the power vault off. Power shut down. So this is going off and I'll just refresh this so that I know that this is the one. On the 144. So no, it's not that one. Let me see like this. It's still getting committed on the firewall. Okay, now it's done. Show interface management if I see. Okay, and to go to the optional mode. Show interface management is the command. You can see 144 is the IP address that it has taken. And also you can see uh, show system info to see the information of your firewall like this the name of the firewall the time uh, the ip address right here also you can see and the type of firewall which it is pavm right or serial number right now it doesn't have any serial number because this is an unlicensed version now from here i can just ping ping a host say 192.168.101 just to see that can i reach the uh no i can't i think no i cannot reach the uh this address and i think that is because of the uh of my esxi server because uh i have my evng running on my esxi server let me just quickly check that and if i go here and check networking and then i check this one and then edit settings and do i have the promiscuous mode okay this is what i am thinking is the problem let me just go again to the Palo Alto here and do the same thing now. Now that is working fine. And if I go to my same uh, address, this should work now. Yep, advanced and yeah. So I have the admin and admin as my default that because uh, it was not changed last time. I think so. Admin and admin. Let's try this once. If not, then let's try the new password admin and then admin add one two three okay so it has changed okay now next thing is the configuration of the um outside interface inside linux box and then trying to ping the boxes so let me just close this and remind me later and go to the network i have to quickly set up the eat one slash one eat one slash one is my inside so i have an ip address from 10111 uh, subnet let's say this is my inside land yeah and the interface should be layer three not a tap this should be layer three and then the virtual route is going to be my default the virtual i mean security zone i'll create a new zone and i'll name that inside you can do this from both ends you can do it from here or else i'll show the other other uh, outside uh, zone i will create it through the objects and advanced this is my inside so i will just enable a management profile management profile is basically to allow the management uh, services on the uh, on that interface that you attach the profile to so you just create a profile and then attach it to or any interface um, and and whatever services you have enabled in that profile will be enabled on that interface so i just want the ping to be enabled so that i can have the testing i can say ping prof yeah ping prof and okay and okay so this is the inside now i i want to configure the outside as well so from here if you want to configure the zone you go here and say add zone and here you have to configure the zone name outside and then the type should be layer 3 if you're going for a layer 3 interface if you're not then you need to make sure that the zone and the interface are of the same type now interface and then i'll go eat one two and then i can say this is my van and then i can say this is my layer three and then the virtual router is default the security zone is uh, outside this time and then uh, and the ipv4 address is going to be 192.168.1.111 as per the diagram right so that is the one and then i will also enable the uh sorry the ping profile here so i can ping this interface from outside that's it and done now i need to go and configure the uh dns on the setup i'll go and i'll go to services and then I'll go to the settings here. 
settings and then i'll configure it here so primary is 8.8.8.8 secondary 4.2.2.2 you can also go and configure the ntp but for now not doing that now that's said and done now you need a default route so that your uh, your firewall can reach the internet so for that you go to the network and then virtual routers and then default click here and then you specify a static route you did specify a default gateway but that was for the management traffic now here you will specify default route as a name and then destination is anything on the internet this is how you specify default route then the interface is each slash one one slash two sorry ip address and the ip address is going to be your router on the lan okay okay and after doing all this you just go and commit it okay now let's go to the linux machine and configure the ip address on that machine and then uh, try to ping this ip address on the palo alto which is mm, what just forgot the ip address that i configured on that interface i think that was uh triple one or 144 on the inside okay uh just remember that so i'll go to the interface here how do you configure you go to the settings control panel then you should have network something like that yeah each zero ip address is 10.1.1. say 10 subnet mask is fine default gateway is going to be the ip address of your uh firewall which is this one name server i will just type in google 4.2.2.2 in case later on i want to uh i mean browse internet right to resolve the dns now that's it and done this is gone I can go to the terminal and say if config just to see if that IP address is there. Yeah, so I have the IP address of dot 10. Now from here I can ping 10.1.1.144. So I have the uh, ping profile attached to the uh, Palo Alto device. So that's why I'm able to get the response. If I don't have that attached, it will not respond because by default it will drop every traffic. So that is it. Now, if you go to the firewall as well, your firewall should be able to reach to internet now because I have a default route. So I can ping host. If I say host like this, 8.8.8.8. Sorry, dot eight dot eight. Yeah, I'm able to reach. Even I can resolve the the domain name also. So I can do something like google.com as well. Yeah, because of the DNS so, uh, um, settings we have specified. So that was it for this video i uh, hope you understood and um, um, i mean before the next topics i want you to set up your lab if even if you're using evng or you're using um, esxi or you're using the vmware workstation so i've shown you all the three steps how to make your lab ready uh, so that you can just follow along with me in the next videos so see you in my next video till then bye bye thank you